Hey guys, what's up? This is Gum, and welcome to Cult of the Lamb on the PC, where I'll be playing with an Xbox controller. This is a roguelite action game where we take over the lamb that we see on the screen and try to create a cult as we also try to take down another cult, basically. Uh, I played the demo a couple of months ago and I liked it quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out, especially since now that we have full access to the game, uh, the cult mechanic will be able to be fully fleshed out. Now, quick little disclaimer, I did get an early access code for the game, so thank you very much, Devolver Digital, for the code. And now we can go ahead and get this party started. Come on, uh, yaka. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. So I mean there can't be two kings, two, two cults, two leaders of cults, or just in general, there can't be two cults. They they wish to sacrifice me. I thought it was about... The prophecy was just straight up like, Oh yeah, you're taking over things. But it might have just been talking about my death. And giving warning... To these guys that maybe they shouldn't do it. But that's too bad. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. Oh god. Let me live! Let me live! You'll regret that! You got this. You got this. Uh, 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 uh. I like how we're still sad. Just like, oh well, we're still chained up, even though we're no longer having our head technically sliced off. Are 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 you the one that waits? You look like a giant cat. Come closer. Fear not. For though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you, uh, keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now I have ascended, and I will smite the heathens who brought down my guide. All right. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, whoa, whoa. Well, tell me the, the controls again over here. I was going to see what's it like playing on the uh, keyboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not too bad, but yeah, definitely, definitely way better on controller, which is what they recommend when you're launching the game, so doesn't surprise me. <laughs> right. Now we progress forward. Oh, hello. Fear not. I am Ratal. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I would be close by. Most lovely. Thank you, Ratal. I died. Oh, 
I don't know. I heard a loud sound. I thought I murdered the shit out of the bird or something. Oh! Uh, dodge to avoid damage. That's a good idea. Money! Okay, back button. Currency used for all manners of things. And then we got the player thing. No curse equipped. Find curses doing a crusade to equip them. Crown ability. Use heretic hearts at your temple to unlock new crown abilities to help you on your crusade. Okay, cool. So we can have like four abilities unlocked. Something about tarot cards. No tarot cards when collected, they appear here. Tarot cards are reset after each crusade. We've got an outfit, fleece of the lamb, a noble garb, a fit for the leader of a cult. Provides no bonuses. Well, I want a bonus, darn it! But that's okay. It will come in due time. Just continue to give me money. I will go this way too. Just in case we can get some extra rewards over here. Whoop. Now I'm I play the demo. And during the demo I tried slashing every single thing on the map to see if it would give me stuff. And it didn't. But I'll try again, relatively. Cause you never know, maybe, uh, you know, or like, unless you're the developers, then you know. Whoa. Oh no, nice try with that. Servants of the false god shall be slain. Lovely. Alright, we continue on. Sometimes there are distractions on the path of the holy. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. I mean, they, they, they could still have a choice, but like, you know, I get it. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey! Who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? It is I! The avatar of the real gods. Well, the real god, he who waits, will not have to wait long at all. Greetings. I said you subduct him. Follower awaits indoctrination. Lovely. We have reached safety. You have done well. Is it bad? The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Alright, Ratty. Take me to the beginnings of my new family. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We got a, quite a little bit of money. Love that for us. Please select a difficulty. Don't worry. You can change the difficulty at any time in the settings menu. Uh, medium. Recommended for moderate players looking for a well-rounded experience. Developer recommended. Hard. Recommended for experienced players looking for a challenge. Recommended for players with a death wish. Recommend it for casual players looking for a fun, accessible experience. Well, I always like when a developer goes, hey, we recommend this mode. Honestly. Because <laughs> to me, that makes, that reminds me of Halo, Heroic. They say the way it's meant to be played. And I'm like, yeah, okay. 
So we're just gonna chill. We're gonna be on medium. And if it gets if it's too easy, we'll raise the difficulty. Also, they didn't say anything on the screen about like extra hard difficulty giving us like better rewards or something. So like I'm good. <laughs> This hollowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Is he... We didn't indoctrinate him just yet, though, but yeah, sure. Hello! Murti, convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. <sighs> All right, Murti, welcome into the cult. Well, around here, you don't get to go by your original name, but we can do something, you, you know? We, we can, we can, you know, let's... Let's, uh... Termix. We're gonna go with the Organization 13 Kingdom Hearts naming methodology. Fucking anagram of the name with an X thrown in there. Alright. Choose form. We don't have a lot of options currently because we have to collect more followers. That's okay. You know what, buddy? You can keep your original form. But not your original color. You were the first of our cult. You will get to gain my favorite color, therefore. Variant. Ooh, lovely. Yes, I'll do that. Traits. 50% hard to level up. Gains 10 faith when falling ill. The, those don't seem like good traits at all. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, buddy. All right, Terramix, I need you go gather some stone. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful. But your followers cannot live on Brea alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. All right, what do we need for, for that? We need we need some five lumber. That's easy. Chop, choppity, chop, chop. I can just hold it. All right, one more of this. You know, I feel like my followers deserve some berries too. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, buddy, listen. I've, I've chopped, I was about to say, I've done so much and you haven't done one thing. <laughs> Termix needs to level up a little bit. All right, buddy, let's get you some food. Cooking fire. There are so many things here on this list. Holy hell. Okay. Uh, cooking fire. Cook raw items and turn them into meals that followers can eat. The structure is only built once. All right. This can go here. Kind of centralized, kind of not. Your followers need to eat and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Cool. All right, let's see what kind of a meal you guys can have. Basic berry bowl. 15% chance of the follower pooping instantly. Yikes. Good luck, man. Now we must build a shrine. But first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been tracked by the four bishops of the old faith. 
Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to the realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so he may be freed. Now go! There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. You got it, Ratty. I'll, I'll definitely fight for the one who waits. But maybe we should come up with a new name for him, right? Like, maybe, maybe the one who waits... What happens when he gets here? What's his name then? The one who waited? All right. Uh huh. Spiders! Ugh. I can't kill him here. So can I just get it? No, you have to have the followers. Okay, I was gonna do it anyways. I I I like following. The developer's recommended path, usually. All right, heading on out on the trail. All right. Darkwood, Crusader's Blade. Well-balanced blade dealing moderate damage. Oh, I don't have any choice. <laughs> I don't have a blade currently. Interesting. Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Sure. So you say. Oh, shit. Hey, look at that. I'm getting grass from this. Everything must be destroyed. Hey, I'm foraging here. This is for my followers. We need new lands. Stop hiding. One meat, lovely good. I will destroy everything that stands in my path to create a new land for the family. Yes, now we're getting real amounts of money. Oh, almost got smackified, but that's okay. What was this? Ooh, I guess they gave me like a little half heart, fake heart shield. All right, that's all. That that has a lot of stars and moon bits above it. So I'm assuming we can go this way for the extra stuff. I want to follow as many paths as possible. Oh. Crown fountain. Softly weeping fountain. I love it. I love it. Adds to the decor. Anyways, I'm going back. I'm not done with this place. Oh, yes. Lovely. Praise the lamb. Conduit to great power. Promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards, they shall decide. All right, what cards we got? We got uh, reveal the map and an extra heart, which... W well, I like the extra heart, but no, uh, yeah, I'll get... All is as it should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. All right. 
So that, yeah, that gave me like one of the full green hearts. 10% chance to deal a critical hit. Reveal the map, damage everything on the screen, deals poison damage, enemies struck, attack rate increased by 1.25%. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking what we got here. I was tempted to get the map because it might be one of those things that uh would be super helpful, but at the same time, like, yeah, this is this is what I was worried about with it. I felt like maybe we weren't really gonna do too much. Uh, we'll go for foraging first. Yeah, the way I understand it is that, like, the main core of the gameplay is us going on these crusades, this run through randomized levels. until we reach, like, a boss. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll fully need to see maps, but maybe in the future we shall. Oh! Whoop! Dodged! I don't like this! Why is it... Why is every... Thing getting dark! Oh, okay. How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were. And yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown. His power. Could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Really, this was probably your best chance to have killed me. But instead, you'll wait. <sighs> Just like the god that I follow. But unlike him, you will not be rewarded. Instead, you will fall. Give me the tarot cards. Tell me, lad, do you believe destiny immutable? Uh, no, I, I think destiny is pretty malleable. Oh, hell yes. Your cards have been drawn. The path lays ahead. Perfect. Perfect. Do you mind if I, like, cut your yard? I'll do it for free. You're welcome. Wow, I'm doing such a great service. Amazing. Greetings, little creatures, the cult followers. How do you like my increased damage? It's not a lot currently, but what if we keep the tarot cards for a long time, right? And we replace my sword with something cooler. I was about to slash the shit out of this little guy. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I I'm working on it. I I'm an upstart cult. It takes a while. I give myself to the cause, oh mighty leader. By the bloods of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Are, are you getting powered up, little guy? Oh yeah, you became a big, yeah. Amducias. Oh shit. Whoa, noe. Gotta be careful, can't, you know, can't get too crazy with things. I get two hits and then I back it off. You know, maybe if I'm feeling real greedy, we get three hits. Oh, he turns into, yes, now you are mine. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will teach your, uh, follow your teachings faithfully. Sure. You will be indoctrinated soon enough. Oh. Choose blueprint, choose blueprint, choose 13 berries. A stone pillar to raise your flag. Yeah, sure. I feel like we're good on food, so. 
Went for the blueprint instead. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Oh, yeah! Money! Woo! <laughs> We're getting loaded! Okay. So I guess I have to, like, kill... the boss or bosses a few more times and then I can get to the real boss. Leshy. Heretics defeated. Cleanse the non-believers. Heck yes. Oh shit, wait, I just, I, I, I just registered the words I read on screen. So if you take no damage, you get a 50% boost on the stuff that you bring back with you. I like that. That's gonna make me real goddamn paranoid, but oh well. I am relieved to see you made it safely. And you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. All right, Amducius. Please spare me. All right, let's, 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 uh, what, uh, what, what are we gonna do for you in terms of your name? I gotta, like, screenshot his name. And, <laughs> so I remember all the letters that are in it as we, like, change it. All right. I'm thinking... Mood... Uh, Mudisiax? Mudisiax? Moody? Hmm. Maybe I should change things around. Moodyaxa! Yeah, that sounds way cooler. Alright, and then you are... You can keep your ugly form, whatever the heck that's supposed to be. But you will instead be red. For being a traitor. Ignores dissenters when they preach. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Negative five faith when the follower is sacrificed. <laughs> Well, excuse me. Look at this purist over here. He doesn't want me to sacrifice people, but he was willing to be sacrificed for the last guy he was working for? Right. Go cut trees. Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you will buy a shrine. Well, that's what we came here for, do you, right? What do I need for that? The shrine costs 30 gold. We got that. A place for the followers to pray. The shrine will hold devotion they create. Structure is only built once. All right. I feel... Oh, yeah, I was about to say. I feel like the shrine should be in the center. And, well, that is exactly where it goes. Yes, assist me in building this. Praise be. Your followers, or your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. That sounds cool. Anna. Alright, I don't think I can do much with this one. It's, uh, it's one of those names that goes back and forth. That works. You can keep your original color because you're like a cute little cat. Lose faith whenever another follower dies. Ignores dissenters when they preach. Yeah, I got some wimpy followers. 
Yeah, if uh, someone dies and gets sacrificed, I don't like that. You must be faithful to he who waits and to me. <sighs> divine inspiration. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshipping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshipping until it is emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Cool. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Bestow upon me your wonderful devotion. Divine inspiration unlocked. Collect divine inspiration. All right. Is that just for building, <laughs> building stuff? Temple. Establish a temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Oh, oh. Well, these are very important. Holy shit. Body pit. I guess we'll need that eventually. Build temple. All right. Place for your. Oh wait. All right. We need. We need rocks. We need rocks. I'm very disappointed in my first follower. Three rocks while I was out there doing the Lord's work. I don't even actually remember what I need. Okay, five rock, 15 logs. Oh, damn, look at, look at that! We got some logs over here! Good job! Am I supposed to be running around to find these things? Maybe that's what was going on. Oh god, that's gonna take a while. Okay! I guess while I'm here is how that works. Or maybe I'm supposed to make it from the chest? Okay, wow, that was one stone, Termix! That's your name? I'm bad with names, it's really... it's gonna suck. The temple can go... do the... Near the path. The temple is the center of your cult. From there you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word, so then that you are a great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. All right. It is time. My children, you must hear me speak the words of the Lord. Sermon. Perform a sermon, drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the Red Crown. Greetings, my children. You are the first. Oh, well, through the strength of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers of the higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain a new abilities. Cool. What do we... What, what, what? I guess I just start here. Permanently gain half a heart. Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. Three new curses will appear on your crusade. Increase the starting level of weapons when you begin a new crusade. 
Vampiric weapons have a chance to heal the wielder when using the life force of a slain foe. Okay, alright, how far does this tree go? Godly weapons. Godly weapons deal significantly more damage than mortal weapons, but are rare. I mean, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> I want that eventually. My children, we will rise! <laughs> the one who awaits has been trapped for too long. And with I as his new avatar, and with you as his new faithful followers, we will put an end to the tyranny of the old gods, and we will begin a new age. All right. You are amazing to behold. A natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, they will need to declare... Uh, you will need to declare doctrine so that they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you will be able to declare new doctrines. You got it. All right, let's go get some commandment stones. Ah. All right, well, they're good on food. What do they say if I talk to them? I, I just wanted a genuine conversation to see how they're feeling about things. But okay, I guess we're just heading back out there. Woo! We will give upon them new lands. How did this one work? Okay, we need nine followers. This one takes seven. This one takes twelve. Okay. And this... I assume is just us clearing all the bosses and then potential I've got a feeling we're gonna end up fighting he who waits you know put him back in and sustain his power for ourselves but we'll see apostates cleaver a mighty tool of unstoppable brutality all right so it's a slower weapon but with double the damage of my regular sword that'll be interesting that's okay everything dies Or not. I am glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Oh. Oh. Shoot five enemies. Hold wide aim. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he is mighty for the power he gives. Is unlimited! Enemies you slay will now drop further. Collect this to replenish your curses. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and works like ammunition for your curses. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Collecting it refills your curses. Wonderful. Alright. Now I've got a long range option. Oh. <laughs> so you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. You say that now, but soon you will fall. All of you. And you will learn the truth that has been bestowed upon me. This world shall be ours. Tell me, lamb. Do you believe? Oh, we know this. We got this one. Okay. Reveal the map. 
When hit down to one or half health, all enemies will be dealt two damage. Or maybe just being at a half health in general? We'll do the reveal map. The fades have spoken. Who will listen? Uh, I mean, me, I guess. Like, if it's, if the fates are telling me to, like, kick ass and, like, you know, make a, you know, a cult, then that's exactly what shall happen. Oh, ambush from the sky! Nice try, you little shits. But well, you won't get me. 